Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 6th of February for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you some standout features to look out for, but please stay with me. As usual, I will dive deep to give you each of the 12 zodiac signs in forensic detail from Aries through to Pisces. Now this week begins with the potency of the full moon, which occurred at the end of last week, still reverberating through the heavens, particularly because the Sun and Uranus are in a tense right angle on Monday and Tuesday too. So anything to do with time management, whether it's around our social situation, our friendships, the things we want to do that are more creative for ourselves, there could be some disruption, last minute changes of plan or some costs. However, on Tuesday, a really seminal event occurs because Mercury comes out of its post-retrograde shadow. It went into its pre-retrograde shadow on the 12th of December. Now, of course, it came out of the retrograde itself on the 18th of January. But if things have been a bit sluggish or you've been waiting for some information, Mercury goes on to combine with Pluto this week. And there could be a very important development around a worldly matter, such as a job application, a business uh, a, a, a scenario, or perhaps to do with a goal or ambition. But then Mercury makes the transition into the sign of Aquarius, and that occurs on Saturday. And that's also really important because Mercury sparkles in Aquarius because it's a planet that's exalted in this sign. So, of course, Aquarius energy is very outgoing. It's very much to do with networking and friendships. So if we start this week feeling a little bit pulled around and a bit disorientated, by the end of the week, I think Mercury can help us to get things a little clearer. Now, also this week, from Monday through to Friday, Venus is in a uh, an energizing link with Uranus. Now, Venus in the sign of Pisces is a very mysterious influence, exalted, of course, itself. But this is provoking us to try something different or to surprise someone we're interested in or even surprise our partner by doing something that's fresh and stimulating because that can bring some magic to a relationship. But equally, it's an opportunity to think outside the box when it comes to our financial situation. Now, just to tell you, the two planets of fortune, Venus and Jupiter, the lesser and the greater benefit, from Monday to Friday are in a semi-sextile. So Jupiter in Aries is very much about initiative in the first house. And of course, Venus in the 12th could be about the things we do behind the scenes. Or it could be that some kind of benefit or piece of good fortune can be linked to a past good deed. So something can evolve quietly but rather pleasingly in the background of this week. Now if you are uh, a returning visitor thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new to my channel it's great to have you with me. Please like or comment. I interact with all comments. This is very much a community or subscribe. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand what the next year holds for you personally, if you give me three pieces of personal data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you your forecast, but also my special package of 30% off your life roadmap, which can help you to become more intimate with some of the planetary influences that have been aiding, but perhaps even hindering you at times. Please see the link beneath this video. You can also get your Zodiac, Vedic and Chinese forecast uh, for the next year completely free. So Scorpio, your week commencing the 6th of February forecast sees the echo of that full moon to the fore. And essentially when the moon's in the 10th house, there is uh, a tendency for things that we would ordinarily be perhaps kept more private to somehow or another find a way of coming out into the open, which doesn't necessarily suit a discreet sign like you as much as maybe it would for some others. And of course, Uranus was involved in this, so it may be that you've been trying to work with someone 
uh, either at home or professionally, who's proven to be very changeable and predictable, and that's actually making it difficult for you to keep things on an even kill in terms of your emotional life, but it may be much more uh, challenging in order not to vent, because that's what the moon is suggesting that you might do. Now the Sun and Uranus continue to test each other for the first couple of days of this week. So there can be tensions around changes you're making at home, maybe practical uh, changes, maybe you're having to work with contractors, maybe it is that you're working from home and that's not always easy, as much as it has become much more the norm. But good things start to emerge from Tuesday because Mercury comes out of its post-retrograde shadow and your ability to articulate your message is helped by this, but then even more by the fact that Mercury aligns with your modern ruler Pluto. You're going to have a gift as this week goes on for really saying in a very precise and punchy way what you feel in a way that others will very quickly understand so your ability to punch across your ideas effectively is definitely enhanced as this week goes on and Uranus as much as it is making or has been making life uh, uncomfortable for many of us over the last couple of years it does actually forge a delightful link with Venus as this week goes on so if you are single as much as there's been all this tension bubbling around, there could be an opportunity to go out with some friends or on a date, but it could all happen very unexpectedly and be just the tonic you need. But as Mercury moves into Aquarius on Saturday, that is the part of your horoscope that can see you want to retreat a little bit. But of course, you've had loads of practice with Saturn in your fourth house over the last couple of years. And maybe what Mercury really is encouraging you to do is to find the way to articulate some more tender issues that ordinarily you may have a tendency to keep closer to your chest. Mm -hmm.